Greetings everyone, David J. Kuhn with Qigong Awareness. I have one simple exercise for bringing some healing to your lower back. So specifically for those of you who have issues with, the, with your lower back, uh, there's different exercises of course I could give you, but here's one of my favorites. So first of all, I recommend having a chair uh, if you do not have good balance. So a lot of people who are practicing Qigong, maybe you're older and you, you know have things going on in your knees and your hips, this one you gotta be more careful with. So make sure you get a chair to hang on to in order to do this exercise. If you have really good balance, then you can do it the way that I'm going to show you. So first of all, and I'll give you a two-in-one exercise, first of all, we have just touching our toes, right? So uh, most people know that, but most people don't do it, right? So anyway, we start my, maybe by uh, going to the knees, and then maybe, you know, you're here. So wherever your uh, position is where you kind of meet that threshold where you can't go anymore I want you to inhale and exhale right in that spot you're gonna inhale and exhale in that spot okay and this would be a way we would want to work with this and we'd want to do that for if we could we want to do it 20 to 30 seconds so we literally want to count and go 20 to 30 seconds so that's a very basic one in general uh, that you want to do and then this one is is even people who do the toe touches they often are never taught or never think about this one uh, this one is very very important for the low back and this is the one especially where you might need a chair but you're going to cross one foot over the other foot so again be very careful with this make sure you have something to stabilize yourself so you don't hurt yourself from this position here again you maybe have two chairs or a chair like so and then slowly start lowering yourself to wherever this is comfortable and same idea again as we get to this position I want to breathe and I want to count to myself 11 12 13 14 15 16 make sure I'm breathing Now, some of you, once you get into this position, again, wherever you are, use your chair, use your prop to get you back up. If you're pretty flexible, you can kind of just switch your feet and stay down here. And then we can switch back to the regular touching of the toes or reaching down. And again, if you can only go to the knees or the backs of the knees. And then those of you who practice the eight brocades with me, for example, we go down and we hold uh, for our technique um, called two hands hold the feet. We actually hold the backs of the heels here. So this is a, an important one for your low back, but it's also important as well for um, these practices of the uh, eight brocades. So we can hold the feet, we can bring hands to the front, we can touch flats of hands once we get a little better at this. Start doing this every day. Make sure that you're a little bit warmed up, that you have, uh, you know, you're just not doing it super cold or something, but um, little tiny bit of warmed up uh, walk around for a few minutes etc and then nice and easy nice and easy breathe and then see if you can get a little bit deeper a little bit deeper this is excellent excellent practice for helping the lower back so thanks for tuning in we'll see you in one of the next videos